So folks, we're back out on the bridge, day two. Yesterday was an incredible day out here. Landed my first ever keeper mullet at 23 inches. Plenty of shorts, plenty of other snappers and groupers, but we're back out here today, bright and early. Almost called the sunrise. You can see a little bit of stormy weather, but it's actually a full house out here. Pretty much every balcony behind me is taken up and the next couple balconies down are taken up too. So happy you got it here when I did. It's probably gonna get really packed today with the nicer weather, but just had a nice rain shower pass through. Feeling confident about today's fish and it should should be on fire today. So yesterday the big thing was that the water was ripping all day. And you can see we got perfect current right here. So I really don't want to waste much time. We're gonna throw the chum bag down, picked up another fresh dozen ballyhoo, three dozen shrimp. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get down there, get our rods in the water, and it should be an epic day of fishing. So stay tuned. Oh yeah, these guys are beautiful. So guys, like I said, picked up some more ballyhoo this morning. Not super fresh, but they are brine, so they're they're pretty good. And all I like to do is just break up that beak a little bit, make them look in distress. And this will be our first bait out. So ballyhoo head right here. Hook this guy right through the right through the top of the head right there. So first bait we're gonna throw out here, guys. A little ballyhoo head. Same rig as yesterday, 30 pound leader. This is a 3-0 hook. We've got a three ounce egg sinker because the current's ripping right now. And then 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. So this is going out on the spin fisher, heavy rod. And our first bait's out. So we already dropped down the chum. We got the shrimp right next to them. And the current's ripping. This is exactly what I want. So let's get our first bait out. And the second rod here, pretty similar thing, except we're just gonna go with the uh, ballyhoo chunk right here of the body. 30 pound fluoro again, three ounce egg sinker. This is all on the pen slammer and the eight foot Tika Dolphin surf rod. So let's get this bad boy out there. So guys, while we let those bait rods sit with ballyhoo right there, also picked up a couple dozen of these shrimp. Beautiful guys. Nice and lively, so we'll pitch these guys around a couple spots. Start with the chum slick, maybe bounce around a couple pilings. See what we can pull up. Yikes. Got him. Got something on. Oh, there he goes. Oh, wow, look at that little guy. Little fish. Oh, uh, this guy, that's about it. <laughs> little strawberry grouper. Thank you. First catch of the day, little strawberry grouper. See you, dude. So guys, got some weather passing through here. Sun's coming out once in a while. Even had to have a little rainbow out there, as you can see, but so far, just getting a, a couple small taps, a couple little junk fish, not getting those big kits we were getting yesterday. So game plan stays the same. We've gone through a couple ballyhoo, a couple shrimp. So hopefully the odds are in our favor eventually. We're on. Got something on. Oh, it feels big, dude. That feels big. On the shrimp. On the shrimp. That might be a good fish, dude. That might be a good fish right there. That's, I think that's a mud. I'm gonna call it here. Mud potentially. That's mud esque. What do we got? Little mutton. Hell yeah, buddy. There we go. Boom. Baby mutton. Wow, you inhaled that hook too. All right. We're gonna have to cut him and let him go. All right, this guy's probably not gonna make it. He swallowed that circle hook sucks to to have to let him go but sorry bud hopefully that blood clots and you'll be all right but nothing i can do about a gill hook all right wishing him the best are we on what the frick do i have dude it's a fish 
Nah, no way it's a fish. Yeah, it is a fish, dude. What? What do I have? Oh my god, is that a little Goliath? No way. All right, that's actually a cool catch, dude. A little Goliath grouper. Check that guy out. That is dope. That is sick. So guys, I might be wrong in saying this, but I think that this is a little Goliath grouper. Really cool. Decent size one. <laughs> On the ballyhoo chunk. All right. Maybe the bite's heating up. I mean, cool to catch new species. I don't think I've ever landed one of these before. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> Sick, dude. All right. Send him on his way. Back down he goes. Dope. So like I said, the bite really is pretty lackluster. We're not catching much. Um, really not getting any good bites. So it is what it is. Nothing I can do. I'm, I'm checking the baits. I'm rebaiting, casting out. Cool catch with that Goliath group or something to kind of mix it up out here. You. So guys, my original plan was to switch up bridges around midday, leave this bridge, go somewhere else, maybe get some lunch in between. But, but seeing those monster barracudas really has me changing up my plan. So what I'm going to do right now, the, the current switching, I'm going to dedicate the second half of the day to trying to catch some of those cudas. So we're still going to set out our bait routes at Ballyhoo. We're still going to try to catch some snappers, some yellow jacks with the shrimp, but I'm also going to drop down the sabiki rig, try to catch some small pinfish. A blue runner would be perfect, but a small bait fish that we can legally use and try to feed it to one of these kudas. So stay tuned for that. Got the whole rest of the day to try to catch one of these monsters. So part two starts now. So guys, just baiting up the sabiki right here with some cut pieces of shrimp. Small hooks. This is the only sabiki I had, so it's really in poor condition, but as long as it gets the job done. But current switching. We're dropping down with the sabiki, trying to catch some little bait fish. I know, I wish. Too small a yellowtail. I need a need a pinfish or something. Another strawberry grouper right there. Cool little fish here, a little strawberry grouper, but obviously can't use them as bait. <laughs> See you, dude. And there goes the last shrimp, so still got plenty of ballyhoo left, so we'll get to work on depleting that stockpile. See if I can get lucky out here, but day is getting late and I'm getting exhausted out here in the sun. Fish on, fish on. Good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish. Stay down, stay down, bro. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, come on now. Come on this way. Let's go. We're on underneath the bridge. Oh, God. I'm gonna be sick. Oh, all that for a short mud. Whew. Jesus, dude. Yeah, buddy. Whew. Wow, that guy's not gonna make it one measure him just cause. <laughs> Almost gave me a heart attack underneath the uh, bridge. That's a mutton snapper. Yeah, they got it. that's the one I caught yesterday I showed you, the 23 incher. This is just a smaller one. Trying to fight them underneath the bridge with all the barracuda chasing them. I lost a big one earlier, like probably a keeper size, but this one's not bad. Oh, wow. Cool. What are you using for bait? Uh, cut ballyhoo. Oh, I ran out of shrimp, so I'm going ballyhoo all these rods. So. Lots of ballyhoo. Yeah, they're good. Send them back away from all the barracudas. Want to release them away from the cuda so it doesn't get eaten. 
and he made it. Yeah, buddy. And that was just on a chunk of ballyhoo, man. Just as I was losing hope, that fish could not have come at a better time. He absolutely violated that piece of ballyhoo right there. Legendary hit, dude. So all we're doing, we're just tending these rods. I'm setting up four rods now across this whole stretch because now it's really just a, an area game. The more space I can take up, the better. Again, plenty of little bites, but that was finally the first good, good bite that we've been looking for, baby. And the fact that I got him from underneath the bridge through all those barracudas is a major plus. So let's, let's get these other rods out there. Not waste any more time, man. That's just what I wanted to see. Woo! There's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a fish. Oh, no way. What the f dude? Damn, I lost him. Just lost something big. I don't even know what it was. Oh, man, I cannot win, dude. That's the third, the second big fish I've lost this afternoon. Wow, dude, I can't believe that. That was a big fish, whatever it was. I get back over there, man. Man, I can't believe that. Oh. Well, maybe I'll get lucky again. I just, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> it was definitely a decent fish, whether it be, I don't even want to make a guess what it was. All right, well, I'll go check the other rods. Man, you guys saw that, that was a epic hit. Damn, dude. There's your grouper. <laughs> it's a strawberry grouper. I think I think they get bigger than this. This is my third one I caught today. All right, folks, and that's where we're gonna wrap up today's video. Honestly, it wasn't for yesterday's stellar day of fishing. I probably would have given today at least an eight out of ten. I mean, we caught multiple grouper, including my first ever Goliath landed here, a decent sized black grouper. Both, I mean, both really small, but still cool to catch. We caught a couple throwback mutton snapper, um, a couple other snapper, plenty of other tropical fish. I don't even know what I showed to the camera because, I mean, I've been out here all day. There was so much going on at every single second of the day. I got out here at 8 a.m. It's now 5 o'clock, as you guys can probably tell by how red my face is right now. I look like a tomato. <laughs> but um, definitely a decent day. We came out here prepared. We came in here early. We brought a dozen ballyhoo. We brought three dozen shrimp, plenty of baits out here. And we used all of them. We had a couple heartbreakers here at the end of the day, but that's fishing. So this wasn't even my actual plan to come out here. I wanted to come out here for a couple hours, try to replicate the same results I got yesterday, catch a couple muns, maybe a keeper, and then go over to another bridge for the second half of the day. But I decided to stick it out here for literally the entire day and longer than I expected to be out here. So I'm famished. I gotta go home, get some dinner. Actually gonna be eating up the mun snapper I caught yesterday. So. Thank you all for tuning in to this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed an action-packed day between between everything that happened, the freaking, all the fish we caught, seeing the tarpons, seeing the barracudas, seeing those uh, sea creatures here at the end of the day. Look, three giant eagle rays. That is something else. I mean, really an exciting day, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous place out here. On that note, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys could smash the like button, I appreciate that so much. And uh, if you could hit the subscribe button too. We're seeing a lot of growth through the channel, which is encouraging me to make more videos for you guys. I'm glad everyone's enjoying the videos down here in the Keys. And I don't know, next time I'll be back on, the, on this bridge here. It may be a while, so I'm gonna stop rambling now. See you guys in the next one. Stay stoked. Yoo!